Hey, hey, so everyone, welcome to Cyberpunk. Yeah, well, okay, where did we leave things off? It's 210, it's the top speed. Always for this car. Oh. If only you could actually slow <laughs> that much. The actual car. recorded a little bit choppy not all the time but Oh, the GPU is busy at 100%. So it was not that. Retracing off ground, I see. Higher. Everything is at all. Everything is it still at 100%? Should not be that. Psycho! We're gonna get 65 with this. Shouldn't be that. I'm on AMD, it doesn't use ray tracing, it uses FSR. What's this do? Oh, 
Oh, the fuck is now on 60% GPU usage. Just raise the, uh, the field of view. What the fuck? I do not have intel. <clears throat> That's correct. Let, let's say it's somewhat fixed, probably because I exited the uh, all the areas. No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half. You're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back. Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You yeah. really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. V? Why Saul got hey, his briefs in a bunch over this guys? basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. No, that's exactly what I said. And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. What the fuck? I did say I will, I'm going to help. Well, I thought I'm going to help. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. <laughs> so crouching, I can go faster. Well, that's just... One, two, three... Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. 
Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn sure. Yeah, it's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel That's on why the we convoy, have where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. No, obviously hmm. I'm in. Okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. You did Come not. On. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Hey, V. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. No, it's not nothing. For me, I love Night City. Some reason raising the um, field of view just lowered the usage on the graphic card. I don't think the problem, even on all everything ultra, Very this should fast. not. We like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Use it that much. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Oh, it shows X. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you can twinkle as much as you want. <laughs> I'm already in. This is was quick, I'm a troll! For gonks. Okay. I'm not the gonk. Stairs it is then. <laughs> Why 
Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Never seen old tech like this. Now your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside this signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Well, I am reliable. <laughs> what are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. <laughs> Stay out of your hair, then. Terry? Say something? No? Yeah? Maybe? Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. <laughs> Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, on, and nothing a... works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitors damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. As I said, I'm quite reliable. <clears throat> fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge hmm Junctions. I like trains yes those <clears throat> when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful okay here we are What is that? Would you help me look? <laughs> sure thing. Not here. Blue, blue, blue. something good job this is a good job carol we have a card what now you have to put it in the reader please note the arrival of the next freight train is delayed <sighs> you 
There goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But, is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Straight it up. <laughs> Not ready! Okay. Oh, come on. All right, Claire. You're driving. Why can Convoy. We... Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. So, <laughs> hello, our baby, sir. your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Okay, here. No pretend to sit. Hurry up and wait. Time left till dusk. Didn't say train, another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. Okay. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. 
Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. I'll see you once you're on board. <laughs> yeah. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while. By your side. Gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah... You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Ooh. Good night, B. Well, she is really good looking. But what you got? No, what okay, can you? Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. What? What am I? What's happening? Where are you? Where are we? What is this thing? Metal with rubber down is this reality hmm I wonder who dies now I know Pan doesn't die at all right she's moving get her up to speed Interesting, yeah, I could uh, hack it. Going faster than we thought. I don't know brakes. if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars, it'll speed you up. Babe, no coming in line. Take out that couple. <laughs>
Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. I mean, when we attack Melatech, something's gonna go down. They're basically military superpower. What the fuck was that? Why is there no back view from the passenger side? Hey, I just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. Now, let's go kill that by soul. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Sure. Billy? No. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. Come on, grab it. Kill him. Pull the weapon or something. Steal the truck. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. <laughs> Be waiting. Take care. Okay, then. <laughs>